do the intro with me? Yeah? You wanna do it with me? Okay. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a updated favorites video. My last favorites video was in September, so it's been a while. And I have some new favorites. Some are actually the same, but I wanted to talk about them again. So I wanted to update you guys on what I've been loving and what I use every day. So yeah, let's just get on right into it. Alrighty, so my first favorite was in my last favorites video, but I love this product so much and I take it every day. So I thought, why not share it again? It is the Not Your Average Probiotic from Organic Olivia. I love these probiotics a lot and that means a lot coming from me because I have tried so many probiotics. Um, I love these because they also have digestive enzymes in them. So if you have trouble like digesting your food or you get bloated regularly or you just have stomach troubles that you feel like you shouldn't be having, give these a shot because these really do help you digest your food better. They help you absorb the nutrients in your food better. But these are great for skin health and immune health. They have definitely helped, I think, clear up some of my skin problems too. I don't get breakouts like a whole lot. Um, if I do, it's just like a little zit here or there. But I think these have really helped keep my skin clear. I have not gotten sick at all, which is like amazing for me, you guys. I have, or I used to have, I guess, now since I don't get sick that much anymore I used to have a terrible immune system like you name it I got it um I still am like a little nervous that my immune system is kind of weak but I haven't gotten sick in like maybe a year so I'm doing great so maybe these have helped me so I definitely think you guys should try these out if you are looking for a probiotic I love this one and if you go on Organic Livia's website there are so many wonderful reviews that basically agree with what I'm saying. Go read these reviews and you'll be sold. Okay, so this is my next favorite. It's a little random, um, but it is actually a seasoning. It is the Spike Original Seasoning and this stuff is so good. It's basically just a blend of like herbs and spices. Um, but it's like the perfect blend because it tastes good on everything. I found out about this because a little local health food spot puts this on their tuna protein bowls and it is so good. So I put this on basically everything I cook. I get it at Whole Foods or Mother's, which is another health food store near me, but I think you can get it online as well. I love this. Maybe I'll just do all my beauty products right now. I'll go into beauty product favorites. So next up are these Acne Spot Dots. They're from the brand Peach Slices, and I also love their face masks. And I get these at CVS. Um, they used to sell them at Target, but I haven't seen them there in a while. So definitely go to CVS if you are going to look for these or online. I'm sure they're online somewhere. Actually, I talked about these in another video. Well, I'm talking about them again. And I th don't think there's any left in the bag. But they're basically just a little sticker that you put on... Um, your zit or if you can like feel is it coming and kind of see it but it's not there yet you can put it on that as well and it just somehow magically like sucks it all out and it helps your pimple go away in like a third of the time. What I really like about these is that you end up not like picking at your skin because you're wearing this and then it just saves your skin from having a red spot or like a little scab that takes forever to go away so if you get little breakouts try these because they work really well i was recently asked on instagram what some of my makeup favorites are so i will show you guys those right now okay so one of my first makeup faves as of right now is this bronzer from air perez i think that's how you say it um, it is the Rice Powder Bronzer in the shade Tulum. I have been wearing this for probably about a year now, and I love it. There are two different shades when you open it up. You can see that one's a little bit lighter, and that one's a little bit darker. It's focused. But I love this bronzer. It's what I wear every day. And what I love about it also is it makes for a really great eyeshadow. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And so for, like, when I'm going for the eyeshadow, I do, like, the darker side. Well, you can do both, but... I think I'm wearing the darker one right now on my eyelids and then for when I'm bronzing my face I kind of just rub my brush 
on the whole thing so it gets a blend of the two but yeah i really love this bronzer i love that it's not toxic and clean for your skin and um i also just really love the shade of it i don't know if it picks up on camera but i love this bronzer um i used to use the hula bronzer from benefit before i switched over to all non-toxic makeup well 99 all uh non-toxic makeup but this is a little bit different because there's a tiny bit of a shimmer in it which i usually hate in bronzers if you are looking for a swap for your hula i recommend this one i love it okay next makeup fave is from vapor organic beauty is the aura multi stick in the color grace and it's kind of like this I would say like a dark coral it kind of picks up red on camera but it's what i'm wearing on my lips right now and on my cheeks that's what i love about their multi-use sticks or whatever <laughs> is that you can use them like all over your face when i'm putting it on my cheeks for blush i'll either dot like tap it on and then blend with my brush or just put my brush on straight onto the stick and then for my lips i use my finger and put it on my lips and what i love about these multi-use sticks is you can really make it like as dark or as light as you want um so like on my lips i put it on really light today just like a little bit with some chapstick over it and then on my cheeks kind of the same thing but if it was nighttime maybe i'd put it on more like a lipstick i like putting chapstick over it because it get, gives it a little bit of like a sheen because i don't really like lip gloss i never wear lip gloss but yeah so that's how I use that and I love this color. Um, I forget, I think I said it's the color Grace, but yeah. I'll link everything below and I highly recommend this product. I think it's such a pretty color for spring as well because it's kind of like this um, orangey pink, I guess, corally color, but I love it. Okay, so I have two more makeup favorites for your eyebrows. I use Boy Brow and Brow Flick, both from Glossier. I love these products. This is like the 0.1% of not non-toxic makeup that I use, but I just can't give them up. And it's on my eyebrows. I feel like it's not like, it's not like my foundation. I feel like it's not touching my face that much. My boy brow is like almost empty. Like if I like go like this and scrape some out, there's a little bit left but I really love it for the brush too. So I just continue to use it even though it's like almost dead. I should probably order a new one. And the funny thing is about Boy Brow, I always rub the Glossier off of the packaging. Like the Brow Flick still has all the like name and branding on the side of it. And this like used to say Glossier on it, but every time I have a Boy Brow, the Glossier rubs off. Does this happen to you? Let me know in the comments below because I have been wondering about that. Is it just like my hands that take it off? I don't know. Anyway, I really love these two products. It's what I use on my eyebrows every day. If I'm kind of like in a rush or just doing really light makeup, I'll just use the boy brow. But if I'm like kind of caring more about my makeup, I will use the brow flick to fill in the little bald spots that I have as well. Um, yeah, this is what the brow flick looks like. It's kind of just like a little brush tip, a really fine brush tip. And yeah, it just gives your brows a more fuller appearance. And then this, I just use to brush them up. And yeah, so I love these two products a lot. If you have been looking for some new brow products, I highly recommend these two. And both of these are in the shade Blonde. Okay, so this isn't a makeup product, but it's kind of a beauty product. It is the Dark as Night perfume from Henry Rose. I am obsessed with the smell, you guys. Um, I actually included the Henry Rose perfumes in my last favorites video, but that was when I just got the sample discovery set. And so I finally ordered a full size. I actually ordered it with my birthday money because my birthday was like two weeks ago. And I am so happy I finally got the full size. Dark as Night is my favorite scent. It smell it just smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. And the Dark as Night sample was the only one that I used like completely till there was n like no perfume left in it. So it was an easy choice picking out which one to order on the website. But I love Henry Rose perfumes so much because they're all non-toxic and it is the only fragrance company that is actually like certified non-toxic by EWG, which is like amazing. And this smells kind of like vanilla like a like a kind of a warm vanilla with like a little woodsy after scent 
I love it so much. So if you're looking for a new perfume, you should try out the Discovery set because they all smell so different and I loved a lot of them, but Dark as Night was by far my favorite. So I only have three favorites left, but they're all kind of virtual favorites. So the first one is my Spotify playlist. I will link my most recent Spotify playlist down below. You guys can follow me on there. I put out public playlists pretty often, maybe like every month or so. Um, I love Spotify and I'm always updating my playlist. So yeah, follow me there. Um, I will link it below just what I've been listening to lately and some old favorites as well. Okay, so my next favorite is kind of two favorites in one, um, but it is two podcasts that I've been recently listening to and loving. Um, the first one is Brad Gresky's podcast, and it is called Brad Behavior, and it is so good. I love it. It comes out on Wednesdays, which I also love because there's like no other uh, podcast that I listen to that come out on Wednesdays. So um, Brad basically just talks about all things like fashion. He's a celebrity stylist if you don't know who he is, which I don't know how you could not know who he is, but he was on the Rachel Zoe um, TV show like years ago. But yeah, I absolutely love his podcast. It's so funny and my favorite part is at the end when he answers questions with his husband Gary who you've probably seen on Instagram he has the Instagram account with all the like memes he makes of Prince George so yeah I love him they're both so funny and you guys should definitely subscribe to that one and then my other podcast is uh the organic Olivia podcast who is the maker of these wonderful probiotics um she kind of just talks everything like health and wellness and yeah it's super educational and super interesting to listen to you should subscribe to that one because it's really good and she just came out with her podcast a few weeks ago and i'm already like obsessed so subscribe to that one i will link those down below as well and then my last favorite is class pass i talked about this i think two videos ago when i went and got a hydration iv but i have been loving class pass so much it's how i book all of my workout classes and what i love about class pass so much is that you can book um like wellness classes as well i got a massage on there i book um infrared saunas on there they also have like cryotherapy so i recommend um trying out class pass if you are looking for a new workout studio to try out or want to get into more like wellnessy stuff so yeah i think that is it i think those are all my current faves so i think that is it for this favorites video i hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe you found some new products to try out um be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next week bye this hair is really bothering me